So it is such a buzzword in this day and age, detox cleanse, detox cleanse, transformation, which is so important to us as human beings to continually do. I'm often asked, Karen, how have you done this for 50 years? Well, even though I eat 100% plant-based, 99.9.9% .9 raw food, I still detox and cleanse my body a minimum of four times a year. But what I really want to convey to you today is Yes, that's a good end result, but how do we get there? How do we make the changes to actually get to that point where we can make a huge change? And so much of that comes with going a little against what we're comfortable with in ourselves, because I'm talking about making yourself number one. Yep, that's the most important thing that we can do. And, and I know people constantly say, well, you know, I've got to do this with the kids. I've got to do this to make money. I have to do this, this. We have a million reasons for putting it all outside of ourselves. But the reality is when you become that selfish person of taking care of yourself first, making you number one, there's so many more people you can reach and help without even trying because people are learning just by example of how you're living in your life. And you're living your life because you are transforming, getting better and better and better. We don't go from A to Z overnight. That's another thing people go, well, you know, I read about this today. Uh, I heard someone speak about this and well, now I'm a raw foodist or whoop now. And yeah, it is great to jump all in. But if you're not that type of person to jump all in, and I do have to say, I'm seeing more and more of these people that jump all in, especially the younger generation, they jump right back out as quickly as they jump in. You know, oh, I'm a raw Buddhist now forever and ever and ever. But the point of my story here today is allowing yourself the bridges, knowing that you don't necessarily go from A to Z overnight. I don't know any other thing in your lives that you just pick up a book and it's done. You hear one speaker and it's done. You know, you read one math book and now you're a mathematician. Although it may be closer to do that now in this day and age than when I started teaching all of this. But I guess the best advice that I want to impart to you, and it's certainly not a rule of rules or a should of shoulds, it's just part of what has worked for me over the past 50 years how what I have relied on and, and gone back to or used as a staple for change in all the thousands and thousands of people I've worked with. It's been my staple for change. Make yourself number one and do realize you can't go from A to Z overnight, right? It's a process. Everything is a process. So remember that if you don't take care of your body, the most magnificent machine you'll ever be given, where are you going to live?